Good morning, everybody. This is Christy Data. Welcome to the Data Fit Show. Holy smokes. We've got a jam-packed show today, and it's only going to be eight minutes long. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. I'm super excited to continue to share my journey towards winning my pro card this season. And this episode is brought to you by the Girl Gang Evolution, which the next Girl Gang Evolution event is gonna be in Tampa, Florida, November 9th. I'm so excited. You guys are the first ones to hear, hear about the date that's popped up and we are in the process of getting organized for that. So I am really excited. And if you have any questions about that, you can find me on social media at Christy Data or on Facebook, Christy Data, and send me a message and I will share maybe a couple details about that. But yes, this episode is brought to you by the Girl Gang Evolution as well as Defiance Fuel. If you are looking for an incredible water to hydrate yourself intracellularly and extracellularly, Yep, those are two words. That is the product for you, and you can utilize my discount code when you go to defiancefuel.com and place your order of three cases or more. Use DataFit, and you will get 15% off. Okay, so now that that's all done, and of course the man voice is still kind of lingering because allergies are kicking here in New York City, Holy smokes, we are three days away from show day. Yep, Saturday, June 29th, I will be in Wayne, New Jersey at the Garden State Championships. And yeah, today is my last day of workouts, so I figured I gotta get on here and share with you guys. So the last few days have been a little bit intense with some cardio, extra training as far as posing goes. We've thrown some audibles in there with changing the way that I'm turning and hand movements and all the things and you know i as soon as i get some decent video footage with lighting that you can actually see what's going on i plan on posting this interview as well as well as the others that you have seen on my youtube channel which is christy data and you can see some of the posing that i've been doing but stay um on social media all day saturday you will see a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes with how show day goes and so today I just wanted to run through a quick review of the things to bring and pack because I will be packing today. Um, I've got my black robe, I've got both pairs of my shoes, my show suit, my show jewelry. So if I didn't mention that in the last episode, yeah girls, get your girly on, go to TJ Maxx, go to whatever kind of costume jewelry and get the blingiest of bling, like big chandelier earrings, a couple bangle bracelets or um, cuffs you can wear. So I've got some jewelry to throw on there, so I'll be packing that, as well as um, I've got some resistance bands that I'm gonna be bringing. So backstage, you will actually be doing some pumping up. I know that sounds super cheesy, but it's really good to have some resistance bands back there. So you can do some bicep curls and some kickbacks just to kind of get the muscles firing and get them going. And then of course, I will be packing very loose fitting clothing. Um, so you're gonna be spray tanned twice the night before your show. So make sure you bring some darker, loose fitting clothes. This way, it's stuff, the clothes that you don't care about, like that junky t-shirt and baggy sweatpants that you don't really care about. So you wanna bring that with you. You also want to bring with you the food that you plan on having for the day before the show and during the show. So I will be bringing some of my cod and asparagus meals, maybe one or two sweet potatoes, I'm also gonna be bringing a couple of my Isa Delights and E-Shots, which are yerba mate and green tea-based plant energy shots that are great. Um, I'm kind of over the coffee thing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've had so much iced coffee just to kind of keep my energy level up a little bit that I'm kind of done. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be E-Shots and then you know some water. So I'll be bringing my Defines Fuel water with me. And hair and makeup gets done the morning of and then pre-judging starts right around 11 a.m. So what entails pre-judging? Um, depending upon the different categories that you guys have entered into, I have entered three for this show, the open category, which is simply based on height, and then I've entered two of the master's categories, so 35 and over and 45 and over. So those are the three different categories that I will be stepping on stage for, and if I'm 
correct about this, and they'll explain this at the meeting in the morning, you only have to do your posing routine for one of the categories, but you do have to go on stage for all three. So in order for me to qualify for a national event for the year 2020, I need to either come in first place in my age category, which will be done by age and height. So I'm usually in the taller class, I'm five foot nine. And then in the open category, if I finish first or second place, then I automatically qualify for a national competition the following year. And then six days later, we roll right into Team Universe where my first go around at winning my pro card is right in front of me. And I'll be doing the same thing, entering three different categories, open and then two for masters. So remember masters just means you're over 35 and they separate you from age and height, which I think is great. What else do I have going on? And just, I'm doing a lot of visualization. And if you have heard any podcasts or interviews with some of the top athletes in their particular sport, especially um, Michael Phelps is one of them, as well as a few boxers that I have um, listened to and their stories, visualization of how you see yourself that day and winning and posing and smiling and whatever that looks like for your particular sport, it doesn't just pertain to fitness competitions and feeling those feelings and actually getting your body into that state of where you see yourself and what you wanna accomplish. I've been doing that pretty regularly the last 30 days for about 10 to 15 minutes a day. And I do a lot of that as well when I am doing my steady state cardio, I am just envisioning walking and how I'm getting on stage and how I'm presenting myself. And it's the same thing. I actually used to do this a lot when I played volleyball at college, just kind of envisioned blocking the, the hitter or making the perfect pass or acing the serve. So that's one of the things that I forgot to mention or I'm glad I'm mentioning it now. This is what happens when you are all getting ready for these shows. A lot of things uh, definitely kind of go by the wayside, but I did make a list, so I'm a list kind of girl. I don't know about you guys, and if you are, I have a complete list of everything I need to pack, so I will be like Santa Claus, checking it twice and <laughs> making sure it's all put in the bag, and then I will head out, and then Friday morning, tomorrow, and may do a little bit of steady state cardio, but other than that, it's purely just relaxation. So what do I do to relax before my show? Um, I'll bring a good book to read. I'll work a little bit on my nutrition business. I've got some uh, phone calls and things to get straightened out for the Girl Gang Evolution, which always fuels my soul and gets me excited. So I love working on that stuff. So I'll be doing I'll be doing the things that bring me joy and bring me at ease or excitement and fill me with energy. So those are things I'll be doing. And then get spray tanned and then chill out some more. And I'm super pumped that my coach is actually gonna be staying with me. So I've got that going on. Ah, all right, you guys, I am so pumped to share so much more with you. And I will definitely, definitely do an episode the day, as the day finishes. Maybe I'll just do it that evening. I'll commit to that. When I get home and share all of my experiences with everything, of course, how I finish and then what it looks like to actually roll right into a back-to-back -back show. So I only have six days, yes, six days between this regional show and my national show. So I wanna make sure that I keep you up to date on what slight changes have been made, what have been increased, decreased, but it's gonna be rolling right into it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for following me on this journey. And as this podcast evolves, you know, I, I named it the Data Fit Show for a reason. And it's not just about fitness competitions. It's not just about getting physically fit. I am planning on so much more content and so much more information on how to not only get you physically fit, but also how to emotionally and financially get you fit. I feel like all three of those things are kind of like the macronutrients in your body. <laughs> you need to be fit in all areas, just like you need all three macronutrients in your body to be healthy. Okay, thank you again for joining me. Again, this is Christy Data. This is the Data Fit Show. Make sure you get out there today. Get sweaty, move your body the best way that you know how. Put some incredible nutrition in your body. That's how your soul is fueled from the inside out. And I can help you with that if you have any questions. And then always, always, always do that thing that makes your soul sing, you guys, because that's really what this is all about. 
Thank you again for joining me. This is Christy Data, and this is The Data Fit Show. Have a great day.